Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Hear My Melody. Today we are going to take a deep dive into the arcane scale of the steel tongue drum. But first, you are looking great today. Roll the intro! <laughs> Welcome back once again to my YouTube series regarding steel tongue drums. In this video series we will be touching on many different subjects such as models, scales, designs, recording techniques, microphones and playing styles. I will of course be mixing this up with my regular content with music videos and other cool stuff. I have chosen to divide this video into five parts. First up, I will make a short introduction to the scale, so you can hear it and also feel it. After that, I will be making a deep dive into the scale and all of its intricacies. After that, we will uh, go through some basic chords, so you can play it at home if you like to. After that, then I will be playing a specific rhythm style, so that you can compare all the models that I showcase in this series. I will play a style that is similar to each other, depending on the drum I am playing on. And in the fifth part, I will be giving my own thoughts regarding this scale. So, let's move on to the scale presentation. In this video I will be using the first drum I ever bought, my Gouda 2.0. The arcane scale in A minor consists of the following notes. A C D E F G A C and D. I will now let you listen to the scale and also showcase how you play it up and down the drum. Just sit back and listen. So there you have it, the entire arcane scale in A minor. Not all steel tongue drums have double tongues like this one, or even triple tongues that some do have. Some steel tongue drums have the single tongue for each note. Let's look at the same scale on the piano. We start with the primary note of A. Then we move up a minor third up to C. We're continuing on from C to D, which is a major second. Then we take another major second and move from D to E. From E to F is a minor second, and then another major second from F to G. We keep on moving from G to A, another major second, and then A to C, minor third, and finally C to D, a final major second. The different names I'm using, minor third and major second, is called intervals. In short, you could say that it is the amount of steps you take on the piano to get to the next note. You can see, from, for example, from C to D is a major second. That means that you take two steps. Don't forget to count the black keys on the piano. While looking at the complete scale, we can see that if we ignore the primary note of A, we almost have a complete C major scale. We are only missing the B. In this A minor scale, we do not use any black keys, so keep that in mind. You can of course have the arcane scale in another key, like uh, beginning at the G, and then you will maybe have to use the black keys on the piano. As I have previously mentioned, most of the melodic drums, steel tongue drum or uh, hang drum, uh, 
for example, used the technique that all the notes on one side sounds very good together and the other notes on the other side also sounds very good together. Let me show this. On this side, if we ignore the primary note of A in the middle, we have C, E, G and C. In short, we can say that we have a major third, a minor third and a perfect fourth. Let's hear them together. And if we play these four notes together on the piano, it sounds like this. They sound very good together, and if we add the middle note of A, it sounds like this. And adding the A on the piano sounds like this. Let's move on to the other side. Here we have a D, F, A and another D. If we look at the intervals, we can see that we have a minor third, a major third and a perfect fourth. We can see that the first side had C both on the top and on the bottom and this side has D on the top and the bottom. If we play these notes on the drum, it sounds like this. And on the piano, it sounds like this. Let's add the A. And over to the piano. Let's take a closer look at some chords. We will start by using the primary note of A and making an A minor chord, where we have the A, C and the D. It sounds like this. We can also play it higher. Or change the order of the note. You don't have to have the A in the bottom for it to be an A minor. You can have the A anywhere you want. You can also shift the other notes. Just keep in mind that you need to have an A, a C and an E to get an A minor. Where you play them doesn't matter. Let's move on to the C. To make a C chord, we will have to have a C, an E, a G. It sounds like this. Let's move on to a D minor chord. We will use a D, an F and an A. On the drum it sounds like this. Or like this. Next chord is an F. We will be playing an F, an A and a C.
you can also color chords. Uh, with this I mean that you can add different notes to them to change the characteristics of the chord. Like this. We would like to play a D minus 7. We will therefore add the 7th note to the D minor. And in this case it is a C. If you want to make a 7th chord with a small 7, you will always find it on the piano two steps behind the primary note of the chord. If you want to know more about chords and how to think and uh, find the different chords on a steel tongue drum, just leave me a comment down below and I will try to get to that video as soon as I can. Let's move on to the rhythm style that you can use as a comparison to the other scales in this video series. We are now at the last part of this video, where I will be giving you my own thoughts regarding this scale. I love the deep feeling of this particular scale. It feels a bit mystical, and it is, of course, no coincidence that uh, it has been named the Arcane Scale. The meaning of the word Arcane is something that is understood only by few, or something that holds a mystery or a secret of some sort, and I think you can feel it in this particular scale. Keep in mind that it is a minor scale, so if you want to play mainly happy tunes, you should pick another scale, like the equinox in G. I will be taking a deep dive into that scale in one of my upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. I have a lot of videos on my channel where I incorporate this scale, so if you are interested, you should head over to Hear My Melody on uh, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube and check them out. Let me know what you thought in the comments section down below. I hope that this video has given you a lot of value and that you now know the arcane scale a little deeper. As with my first video where I took a deep dive into the trance scale, I will also be posting yet another video after this one where I will be playing the arcane scale with other instruments so you can see it in action. So stay tuned for that one. The next scale that I will be showcasing in this series will be the African scale. So if you're interested in that particular scale, I would uh, suggest that you maybe subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. It will help me a great deal. And if you have any questions regarding the steel tongue drum or this scale or any other thing you want to ask me, just post a comment down below and I will be responding to you shortly. That was all for this time, I'll see you soon. Bye and hey do.